Hello friends! Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about Sub-Zero MC110 Micro Chill Controller. Now let's do unboxing of controller. On box side sticker has all the information available. Let's open this box. We can see we have one Sub-Zero Micro Chill Controller. We have two temperature sensor. Panel mount clamp to piece. So total 5 unit in one box. Now let's see 360 degree view of Sub-Zero controller. Now we can see we have all the terminal connection details are available on sticker. For liquid level sensor, 13, 14 and 15 terminal connection is available. 16, 17, 18 connection is for one relay output. 19, 20 is NC output for pump. One compressor output is also available. HP LP Comp OL Pump OL SPP Cond OL EWFS CWFS Trip Protection for Compressor Automan Reset for HP LP and AFT And Last 10 fault history is also available. Now let's see configuration of your MC110. Let's give power supply and turn on the device. Here we can see room temperature is showing. Also in front side we have all the parameters indicator available. One buzzer indicator is also available in this device. Press temp key for 2 seconds to view aft temperature. Here we can see aft temperature. Now, press PRG key enter into program mode. Working mode to set controller for heating or cooling. Use UP down keys to set desired value. Now we will see one example. Cooling mode if this is set then controller will function in the cooling mode i dot e compressor will be on if control temperature goes above. Set point plus differential. Pump run HRS, this parameter is used to display pump working hours. Comp run HRS, this parameter is used to display compressor working hours. Factory set, Revert to factory set parameter. To restore default settings of the controller. Keypad lock to lock keypad. Clear fault log. This parameter is used to clear all fault history. Relay 3 logic. This parameter configures. Relay 3. Example. If set to water SV, relay 3 will. Switch on in case of liquid level is below. Mid level. Pump power on DLY. This parameter is used to set. Delay for pump to start at power on. This is. Applicable if the pump is running with. Compressor. Pump run logic. This parameter configures. Pump to keep always on or off with. Compress. System auto start. This parameter configures system to auto start or manual start on. Power on. LIQ level fault. This parameter is used to set liquid level fault on high level or low level. 
is set to on high LVL. This sets level fault on high level. A LIQ level sensor. This parameter enable disables liquid level sensing. LP fault reset. This parameter will set LP fault to auto or manual reset. HP aft reset. This parameter will set HP and aft fault to auto or manual reset. LP sensing DLY to set LP fault sensing delay on compressor on WFS normal DLY to set WFS trip sensing delay on power up. Fault sense logic to set tripping voltage of digital inputs. Aft probe call to set antifreeze probe calibration. Main probe call to set main liquid probe calibration. Example, if the actual temperature is 20.0 degrees Celsius and the temperature on the controller shows 22.0 degrees Celsius set this parameter to minus 2.0 C and once out of this mode, the temperature will display 20.0 degrees Celsius. Look. temp alarm to set minimum allowable low temperature limit and alarm high temp alarm to set maximum allowable high temperature limit and alarm differential to set temperature differential for compressor restart com time delay to set compressor restart delay chiller set temp to set chiller set point LT is equal to low temp alarm. HT is equal to high temp alarm. Now controller is working in cooling mode. And chiller set temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. Current temperature is 21.7 degrees Celsius. So compressor relay will be on. Here we can see compressor red LED is on. Now we'll stop the system by pressing stop button for 2 second. By pressing again for 2 second we can start the system. Here by default compressor delay time is 170 seconds so compressor will turn on after 170 seconds. Here pump in time delay is around 20 seconds so we can see pump relay is on we can see green led is on. Here we can see different types of fault log is available. If fault number 10 appear, then main probe fail. If fault number 9 appear, then level fault is there. If fault number 8 appears, then aft probe fail. Fault number 07 appears, then level fault is there. Now let's configure the device and check the fault status. Here we haven't connected any probe for temperature sensor or any level sensor. 
So we will get different types of fault error logs. Let's check it. Let's see the practical. We have set high temperature alarm at 50 degrees Celsius. So let's give hot air to temperature sensor. We have see temperature is increasing. Here we can see when temperature goes above 50 high temperature alarm plane and alarm relay is on. By pressing mute button we can mute the alarm. Features 7 segment display, LEDs, LCD with backlighting To display all parameters 2 NTC probes for liquid temp plus antifreeze Temperature ANG, 30 degrees Celsius to plus 70 degrees Celsius Relay outputs, compressor plus pump plus alarm or water SV High presser, low presser, compressor overload, pump overload, SPP, condominium oil. EWFS, CWFS trip protection for compressor. Auto slash manual reset for high presser, low presser and antifreeze. Last 10 fault history. Specifications. Technical data. Housing, white or black, ABS plastic. Dimensions, front, 96 by 96 mm, depth, 84 mm. Panel cutout, 91 by 91 mm. Mounting, flush panel mounting with side lamps. Display, 16 by 2 LCD, 3 by 14 mm, 0.36 inch LED. Data storage, non-volatile EEPROM memory. Power input, 230 volt AC plus or minus 20% 50 to 60 Hz others on request. Operating temperature, 5 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, non-condensing. Storage temperature, minus 20 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius, non-condensing. Input, NTC probe, SCN75. Digital input, potential, 230 VAC. All relay, 5 ampere slash 250 volt AC. Range, minus 30 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. Resolution, 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. Accuracy, plus or minus 1 degree Celsius. Probe tolerance at 25 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 0 0.3 degrees Celsius.